where we'd like to calculate recessional velocity. We're given a quasars at a redshift of 3.53. We would like to find the recessional velocity of this quasar. So we're given a bunch of equations. Let's look at a few of them. We're given z is equal to v over c, where c is, in this case, is 3.00 times 10 to the fifth kilometers per second. We're given z is equal to delta lambda over lambda, z is equal to the square root of 1 plus v over c divided by the square root of 1 minus v over c minus 1, and v over c is equal to parentheses z plus 1 squared minus 1 divided by parentheses z plus 1 squared plus 1 where z plus 1's are in parentheses. Well, let's try our simplest equation first. We're given a redshift, so let's identify this. z is the redshift, so we're given z is equal to 3.53. So let's start with the very simplest equation, and that is z is equal to v over c. So we have 3.53 and that is equal to v over c, where we're using 3 times 10 to the fifth kilometers per second as our speed of light. So what we need to do is we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 times 10 to the fifth. And that'll eliminate the letters and numbers on the right-hand side of the equation and put all of what we want on one side of the equation, numbers and letters. Kilometers per second. So let's eliminate letters and numbers. We got on the right hand side 3 times 10 to the fifth, which crosses out with 3 times 10 to the fifth. We've got kilometers per second, which cancels with kilometers per second. And we are left with V, which is equal to 3.53 times 3 times 10 to the fifth. So let's go to our calculator 3.53 and multiply it by 3EE5, and we get 99. Zero, 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 zero. So we're getting nine, 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 zero, 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 zero kilometers per second. Now you might be like, well, that's my answer. Well, let's take a look at what V is in terms of C. So instead of putting 3 times 10 to the fifth over here on the right hand side, let's just leave it as the letter C. So our answer is going to be 3.53 times C. Now does that make any sense? We're using this equation and we're finding out that the recessional velocity of this quasar is more than three times the speed of light. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. So obviously, this cannot be the correct equation. So this is all wrong. We cannot be going faster than the speed of light, or this quasar can't be. So let's find another equation. We want to find the recessional velocity. So we're looking for recessional velocity. Well, these equations on the left are z equals, whereas these equations on the right are v equals. So we don't want to use the equations on the left. We want to use the v over c equations on the right. So I've already set it up for us. We've got v over c is equal to parentheses z plus 1 close parentheses squared minus 1 divided by open parentheses z plus 1. Oh, I got a plus 1. Close parentheses squared plus 1. So I need to put my z value in there. Our z is 3.53. So you want to put a 3.53 on the top and a 3.53 on the bottom in the place of where z is supposed to be. And now let's take the top part of the equation first. We have 3.53 plus 1 squared minus 1. So let's take that out. 3.53 
we want to add on 1, we get 4.53. Now we want to square it. So you go to the x to the y, square it, equal to, and now we want to subtract 1. So then we subtract 1, and we have 19.52. But we only have three digits here and two here, so let's just carry it to three digits, and we'll take it down to two at the end, 19.5. Now let's go to the bottom. We have 3.53 plus 1 squared. 3.53 plus 1 equal to x to the y squared. And now it says to add 1. So now we add 1, and we have 21.5. So we put 21.5 down this, down here. So now we need 19.5 divided by 21.5. So we'll hit clear, 19.5 divided by 21.5 equal to, and we have 0 .9069. We only want two digits, so let's round the 6 up the 0 to 1 because the 6 is greater than 5, so it's 0 0.91. Now this makes much more sense, much more sense. So we've got a V over C equal to 0 0.91, which is the same thing as saying V is equal to 0 0.91C. How did I get that? All I did that's a terrible point. There we go. All right, all I did was multiply both sides of the equation by C. This C drops out with this C, so we're left with V is equal to 0.91C. So now this galaxy, this quasar, is moving away from us at 91% of the speed of light. It certainly isn't going faster than the speed of light. So in general, whenever you're given a redshift, and a redshift z is going to be greater than 1, if you're given a z of greater than 1, use this equation. If you're given z less than 1, use that equation.